Hello, welcome back. Next thing I'd like us to do, let's, uh, in our select filters, when we have a bunch of filters selected, I'd like some of them to have an edit button. So for example, let's say you have scale intensity selected. I think you should be able to set uh, the intensity. So I'd like an edit button that allows us to uh, change, you know, the intensity. Um, so let's try to add that button next. Now this is a table view and this of course is a cell so we want to create a custom cell that's got a button over here and a label over here okay and I believe the way it works is that um, you know uh, the operating system takes care of the stuff on the outside we're basically going to be in charge of the stuff on the inside and second thing is we don't want to assign any text to this we just want to leave that blank so that it doesn't overwrite us so let's give that a shot um, Okay, let's go to our storyboard. And let's go to, oh, we're on the right thing. Um, almost. We want select filters. I'm going to move that over a bit. So here's our prototype. Uh, and we want to put an edit button over there. Hey, I've got a button here. So I can just drag a button. And that's position about where I want it. Let's change its text edit. Edit. Right. And uh, we're also going to need a label. So I'll type in label to find it. Bring it over here. Perfect. Okay, so those look pretty good. Now we can set our constraints now. Uh, what we want to do I think is have the label all the way over here and uh, by default it'll be able to grow so uh, let's let that happen uh, for text so if, sorry for our button we want that on the other side so that's not too hard to handle and we'd like the text to align so let's try to set that up I'm going to control click on label so this is one way of doing it I'll go control click and I'll drag in this direction and I'll let go and leading space to container margin. So what I've just set done is set a constraint that says that this distance here is uh, is fixed. Okay, going from the container margin to here, that's fixed. Okay, I'm going to do the same kind of trick over here. Control drag. I'll say trailing space to container margin. Okay, that works for me. Now we also mentioned that uh, we want these two to the text to line up, so I'm going to drag from one to the other and say I want the baselines to be the same. And it draws a nice little line to tell me that's what we got. Uh, and I guess the last thing is we want this centered uh, uh, vertically in the container, so we need to take one of these and center them, because the other one will follow because of the baseline. Uh, I'm going to hit control, control again and drag up I think and center horizontally no we want vertically let me try this one uh, it's funny sometimes some of the times it now I know this has worked before try it again uh, what if I did this <laughs> okay we want it centered vertically in container I don't know why we had to pull sideways but let's do that so, I think that should set up our constraints to show it properly. Um, let's give it a quick run. Oh, and while that's running, we're going to need to add some support code to actually populate this label and this uh, edit button to turn it on and off. I think right now if we just select one of these yeah we can see the old label and the new label kind of overlapping and the text here isn't quite right so let's let's get that fixed up yeah uh, what's happened is the yeah it, you can it's it's hard to see but uh, a bunch of blankness here overwrites so we just see the T don't worry here's what we do let's go stop um, so we need to create the class for this filter cell Go to image play, go new file. You, I'll go a Coca class, so it'll fill in a couple things for me. Yes, it is a UI table view cell. 
that's important. And what do we need? We need, uh, what are we going to call it? We'll call it uh, custom filter cell. So let's create that. Good. Uh, let's go back to the storyboard and we want to create outlets for the label and the button. So we go to our assistant and custom filter cell and we do a control drag. Control drag and oop it's not popping up automatically and the reason why is I haven't told it yet that this filter cell is associated with this source. So let me select that filter cell and go over to the class and it look for all UI table view cells and oh there's one called custom filter cell so we can select that. Now that we've selected that we can control drag from here to here and create our custom label. That works for me. And the button too. We'll call that the edit button. Okay, that looks right. Uh, now let's update the code that populates that. We'll go to select filter view controller and here DQ reusable cell with identifier. This is the factory for the cells. Um, it used to give us just a plain old UI table view cell but now it's going to give us what we told it which is a, a, a custom filter cell. So we can cast this and take advantage of those properties we just created. So I'm going to say as exclamation custom filter cell right the exclamation is because we know it's we know it is that way it's always going to be a custom filter cell and if it isn't it's okay to throw an exception because it's unexpected um, now we can just go custom label and that should be all we need for now okay I'm gonna run that and we just want to make sure that we see the label and that we see the button Oh, and that we don't have any compile time errors like this one. UI kit. Let's run it again. So we'll add a scale intensity. Nice. Actually, I'll add two things just to make sure. Yep. Now we added a couple buttons. They don't do anything yet, but they're there. Uh, and then we still have our... Let's make sure we can still... Yep, that still works. Great. Hey, last thing I'm going to do. Most filters, actually, we're not going to allow you to see the edit control. So, uh, we're going to have some initialization code in here. Um, actually, it'll be in the filter cell. Uh, that'll you know, enable or disable that edit button. So let's let's right now just go in and go to that edit button and just turn it off. So we'll go cell and edit button. And let's see, I think it's visibility, is that it? Hmm, what is it again? Oh, hidden. Hidden equals true. So soon we'll add some code to, you know, selectively say which effects uh, have edit and which don't. So at the moment, yeah, the edit button's gone. Okay, well, thank you, and that's uh, it for this one. I'll catch you in the next one.